currently. There's that one little There's one, spot. but it's where the, like, the edge of mine is. Well, do you think this would? Here, you want to try sneaking that in there? I was talking to my friend Josh back in Seattle when I was about to move here, and he worked for a long time in the music industry in New York. And I was asking him if he had any advice for me. And the only thing he really told me to do was play at Rockwood Music Hall. Make sure that's the first thing you do. Rockwood is like, it's kind of a legendary venue for singer-songwriters. And I guess that's kind of what I am. It has a lot of respect that not a, not a lot of venues here have, and obviously if it's respected in New York, it's respected everywhere. It took a while, I guess, to make it happen, but eight months later, tomorrow night, it's about to happen. just so big it's just constant shows constant activity the community has really been dope I've only been here a short time and already I feel like I know so many other musicians who want to help out and create opportunities for their fellow musicians and that's partly how like this band came together and how we're able to play it totally live tomorrow night getting snacks for the band man gotta feed the band well, Tree doesn't eat gluten, so I gotta plan around that. Jake doesn't eat peanuts. I got some allergies in the band. I feel like a like little league mom. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't even think about this. So I left my phone at the last rehearsal. Last night, we left at like 12.30, and I just forgot it, and now we are locked out. <laughs> I'm trying to get in, but the whole band's in there probably and uh, we are outside because I have no way of calling them. Facebook Messenger calling. Maybe I should just send them a message. Yeah. Dude, you're a lifesaver. All right, should we, is everyone feeling good? No. Should we do any, uh, like a, a collective breath or something? Yeah. Outhale. Yeah. <laughs> Technical term is outhale.
Get up for Tree one time. It's crazy. Did I fuck up? I walked out from. So the band, I guess the first member was uh, my friend Tree. He plays trumpet on a lot of my recordings. We met in college and he was going to Harvard and also studying at the New England Conservatory for trumpet. And he's just an amazing trumpet player and, and a songwriter himself. And so he understands songs and what they need and plays like differently for every song. Plays really to the song and like is another part of it. Then there's my friend Jake who plays drums. He I've actually played with before in college. We were part of a nature rap band collective called Baird Grills. <laughs> for the day ones, they know about it. And so he, we played a bunch together as well and uh, in ridiculous situations. Most of those shows he was wearing a horse mask over his entire head, so he's got chops to pull it off under any circumstances. And he's playing a drum pad with all the, with a bunch of electronic sounds from the recording. Last thing we And then there's Mateus, who, who's playing guitar and some additional synths. And he I also know from college. He plays in a bunch of bands around New York, and we've been friends for a number of years, and it really just made sense. The last member is Ryan, who Tree brought in. He's classically trained and writes and records songs on his own, too. And then he's playing bass mostly and bass synth, and he's holding it down for sure. So over the first, the first month or so was mostly like building and now the last few weeks has been more um, crystallizing it into the finer details and tightening it up. And I've never really gone through that process before. I've never had to, to bring people into the creation of my songs from scratch like that before. And so it's really, I think, taught me more about the songs and I've learned about the way they work and uh, what they need to, to live. Thank you guys. Because we're going to be coming off hope. Shit's going to be... Yeah. Ball going to be amped up. Yeah. Everything we play live is going to be faster though. Amped up. Yeah, true. Yeah. All right. Hey, 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 hey. I've been trying to open up my process more to other people. Ever since I really started making music, it's always been totally by myself. And I think there's a lot to be gained from that process. Like I know that that's just how I work and there's things that I can achieve recording on my own, like a certain level of vulnerability that I think I couldn't really get around other people. But I, I want to like, try to build that more into like how to maintain what's special about my process but also be able to grow it with people who have you other unique ideas about you know what the song could use or how it could be manifested and there's a Ralph Waldo Emerson quote that's like it's easy to live as yourself in solitude but like what's really difficult is to bring that into society you know it's easy to be yourself in a cabin in the woods, but, but harder in New York City. i
places we never went and all the books we never read isn't it much too soon i can't believe i'm losing you but in the halfway light you said baby i choose i choose you twice you said baby i choose you Kiss me one last time and you said, baby, I choose you twice. I want to try to be able to maintain that vulnerability and honesty and uh, really openness, but also benefit from, you know, the creative process that comes from having multiple people working together, which is really special. Yeah, I think that's more what I'm working on trying to create is like to create a space in my music and at my shows where vulnerability is okay and uh, you're allowed to feel however you want to feel and whether it's good or bad or lonely or happy or anything. Uh, to be able to feel like you're not judged and you're not required to put on any kind of face, but you're allowed to feel however you feel and I think we need spaces like that and that's what I hope to make with my music. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Thanks to Tree, Ryan, Mateus, Jake. Thank you guys at Rockwood. Thank all you guys. We sold out two nights in a row. We did it. Love you all. <laughs>